So the first part of my uh, tutorial ended up like that with building the tree and the uh, rest of the background and uh, adding lights, shadows and selecting all those parts of the river and the trees. And now let's move on by adding a house, a hut here on this part. So from this picture, I'm going to select this hut uh, by adding a mask and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to it uh, like 1%. And I'm going to place it here. But the thing is that uh, our hut it's uh, leaning on the back and uh, the perspective it's not really what I wanted. To fix the perspective of this house let's go to edit and here let's choose perspective warp. I'm going to add a grid here and another one here on the right side. Then I'm going to uh, drag this point and the other one to uh, match this line uh, of the house that I have here and also uh, this one and uh, also this one and try to uh, uh, respect that uh, line that we have here on this house okay and then let's press warp and now I'm going to drag this uh, more to the top and now my uh, hut uh, starts to look uh, much much better and then hit ok then I added the uh, levels adjustment layer where I have uh, decreased the contrast and decreased the whites then I use the uh, color balance to modify uh, the colors and I have added cyan and blues and also greens and the layer is set to color then I added an exposure where I have increased the exposure and offset and also gamma correction and with uh, another selective color I have modified the blacks and the last thing I added uh, this color to uh, neutralize a bit the dark uh, values that I had on the house I thought that uh, the darkest area of the house are too uh, black so uh, too dark so I have used this color and I made them less uh, dark and the layer is set to lighten then from this photo I started to cut some parts to use them in front of uh, the entrance in front of the door of uh, my uh, building my house so I copy this layer uh, many times and uh, to those parts that I have uh, just added I added uh, levels to make them darker and uh, color balance to match the rest of the colors so to add some uh, lights inside I'm going to take the pen tool and select the areas where I'm thinking that the lights should come out uh, from that uh, house. Anyway, when you finish with the pen tool after a while, uh, just press counter and enter and it will make a selection and go to solid color and here I'm going to select uh, this green color, hit OK and change the blending mode to linear dodge. And then take the brush tool and the black color and start to hide a part of uh, that uh, selection and uh, just paint around to uh, diminish uh, that uh, light that uh, comes from uh, inside then uh, on top of it create a new layer press D to reset the swatches fill it with uh, black and uh, set the blending mode to color dodge and then uh, take a green color and of course the uh, brush and uh, on those uh, on and on some parts paint with uh, a green color to uh, amplify that uh, light that comes from inside then uh, on top of them duplicate the first layer and uh, set it to again to color dodge so now the light is more intense and what I did next is to add some green lights on some parts of the house so for that the same thing I created a solid color adjustment layer and I changed this color to a more yellowish uh, color something like that set the blending mode to linear dodge and uh, on the mask click invert and then I took the sovereign brush and uh, with the white color I uh, started to paint on the margins of uh, the house and I have added some uh, as I said some uh, rim lights
and when I finished with the lights I have painted some ivy it just uh, they are just lines and uh, wasn't that uh, big deal because uh, I already had some ivies over there and I just had to continue them uh, but on top of the house in front of the house I uh, want it uh, like a scary spirit, like a scary wolf and I found this picture. So to create the ghost wolf, first thing I will select the wolf, drag it and then Ctrl T, right click, flip it horizontally and make it smaller. So I'm going to create a duplicate of this layer and I'm going to hide one of them. Then I'm going to go to filter and here I'm going to choose filter gallery and on the filter gallery I'm going to use stylize and then glowing the edges and the edge brightness around 18. We are going to set the blending mode to linear dodge. To make the wolf glow, to make it a spirit, I'm going to create a group, name the group glow, set the blending mode of the group to linear dodge and inside this group I'm going to create three layers. First I'm going to rename it to base and I'm going to take the paint bucket tool, the black color and I'm going to fill it with black. You won't see anything on screen because our group is set to linear dodge. If it would have been set to normal, you will see uh, that our layer is set to uh, black. But let's uh, keep uh, linear dodge. Then the second layer inside the group should be left like that, empty, and let's name it glow. And the last gradient map. And here on the color parts, first color from the left should be black and the color from the right should be white. Then I'm going to uh, click once and add the color of my glow and in my case it will be a really desaturated green. So I'm going to use this really dark green color here and on the right side a really bright color like this one and then hit OK. You can always change that if you want. Then on this uh, layer I'm going to decrease the opacity. Now go on the group and on the glow layer. Take the brush tool and change to the white color. And with the soft round brush and the flow to around 10-15% uh, I'm going to paint with the white color on the sides where I have this outline from the wolf. After you finish with the brush tool, you switch to the smudge tool and you can drag some parts of the painting you just did. You can drag them around and make that uh, outline, that shape that you just drew more interesting with the smudge tool. Then you can uh, bring back the full opacity on the layer underneath and add a mask. And on the mask, I'm going to paint with a black color to hide the parts that I don't want to keep anymore. And to make it glow even more, I'm going to create a new layer, fill it with uh, black and set the blending mode to color dodge. And then I'm going to repeat the process with the brush tool and sovereign brush and the white color. I'm going to paint over and if you see, this will add a really cool effect on our uh, spirit. It will make the outline glow even uh, more and you can add uh, on all the parts that you want so you can paint also inside and that will give a really cool uh, ghostly effect on our uh, wolf after that in front of the wolf I have added some rays by using the same method with the color dodge that I just used on uh, the edges of the wolf I found this amazing picture of this white horse and I will transform this white horse into a unicorn. So I selected the horse from that picture, place it uh, here, add uh, a horn to the horse and now we have a unicorn. The next step is to match the colors and the lights and shadows with the rest of the design. For Sphinx, darken up the unicorn by using levels, color balance to change the colors, add a bit of lights using uh, exposure i added another levels to make the back part even darker and with uh, overlay i added some colors on the left side and more uh, brightness by using exposure change the color of his eyes with a layer set to screen and on a layer set to linear dodge i added a white color to make the unicorn more white 
and I drew some uh, rim lights on the sides with a layer set to linear dodge. When I finished this part, I select all the layers that were involved in this unicorn and created a group. Then I duplicated a group, hide the first one on this group, on the copy of this group, I will delete the rim lights layer and I will right click on the group and convert it to a smart object. And now I will be able to apply the same steps that I applied here on the wolf parts. I want to have some glowing edges again, so let's go to filter and here choose filter gallery. I will uh, use the same glowing edges from stylize and hit OK. And I will set the blending mode to linear dodge. And now we have a pretty good shape that we can draw on. So now with the white color and the brush, because we have those guidelines, we can paint with the white color, as I said, on the sides. And at the end, we will have a pretty cool uh, unicorn shape. And after I finished to draw on that uh, group that I have created with the gradient map, I end up with this shape of our unicorn. And I uh, went back on the first thing that I did here with the unicorn. Uh, this one and I uh, made that group visible again and this group I will set the opacity to around 40% and this is the final result I think it looks really great when I first uh, made this design I went with a knight and then later on I decided to go with an elf so uh, I used uh, this picture and selected uh, the character and uh, I took some time with the clone stamp tool and uh, hide that uh, area filled with uh, leaves and uh, plants place her here and uh, added a mask uh, to uh, paint with a grass brush to mask that area and then uh, as always first thing that I'm doing is adding a levels to dark her up so after you are adding a levels and uh, drag this white slider to the left, she is uh, dark like that. Don't forget that uh, you need to paint on the mask with a black color and uh, bring back uh, the left side because uh, this side should be uh, brighter because we have the lights that come from the left side. I added some lights on her left side, uh, this part using... Uh, overlay and this uh, color I have painted on this part uh, then I decided that uh, her dress uh, should have different colors so I selected that part of the dress and with hue and saturation and uh, greens selected I have modified that uh, green color of her dress and then uh, this part of the dress I uh, made it uh, copper like that and I manually painted uh, some hair and also a uh, elf ear here on uh, her ear and at the end I added some uh, rim lights using my linear dodge uh, method if you really want to uh, learn this method it's really easy just watch this tutorial where I explain exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing my rim lights using linear dodge for the magic that she is casting, I have used the same group, the magic group that I created with a gradient map and I have used to paint uh, the unicorn. So I created a new layer and I uh, used a brush that I have used in many tutorials is the arcane circle uh, brush. And here there are many brushes, many arcane brushes. Uh, I'll give you the link to download them. So uh, I created one. I place it on uh, underneath her hand and uh, then I press Ctrl T and play it a bit with the perspective. I hold Ctrl and drag the corners to match the perspective uh, so uh, the, you know, the magic looks like uh, it's coming towards the, the wolf so it should have a different perspective than the original one. After that I created another one that I place it uh, more to the left. And instead of 100%, I uh, decrease the opacity to 20% and I repeated the process with another one and another one which is barely visible. The most important filter when you finish your artwork is the camera roll filter. For that, press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I to create a screenshot of everything that you see on the screen. Right click, convert it to a smart object and then go to filter. Here, choose camera roll filter. Those are the settings that I have used on uh, the basic uh, 
on the detail and also on the effects I always add some uh, grain and then hit OK. If you got so far in the video it means that to enjoy it I am really curious to find out your opinions about this two parts video so please leave me a comment down below. If you found this video useful please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch those videos next if you want to learn even more about photo manipulation and photoshop.